is question 35 from the LO3 tutorial questions for engineering dynamics. In this question, we're asked to find the mass of a uniform solid disk. And we're given the radius and the rotational energy and the um, angular velocity of the disk in question. So we've got to think about how we're going to get to the point where we find our mass. Well, when we're dealing with angular velocity um, and uh, sorry, angular motion, mass um, we find in this formula here, which is I is equal to M R squared um, over two, since we're dealing with the full radius. However, Although we have the radius, we don't have the moment of inertia. So we need to find that first. And there's another formula we can use involving moment of inertia, which is this one here. The rotational kinetic energy is equal to a half times moment of inertia times omega squared. And here we do know the rotational kinetic energy and we do know omega. So we can use these values first of all to find I, and that's how we're going to solve this question. So let's now write down what information we have. Well, we're told the radius is 18 centimeters, which is the same as 0 0.18 meters. Um, we're told it has 50 joules of rotational kinetic energy, so that's 50 joules. And we're told omega is six radians per second. Now, joules and radians per second are the units that we want to be using. So we have no need to do any unit conversion here. We can put these straight into our second formula. So replace EK with 50, put a half times I, that might look more like an I because it's a bit like a one just now, and times omega squared, or omega six, so six squared. And so we get 50 is equal to a half I times 36. Well, a half times 36 is 18. So we have 18 I is equal to 50. And so I is equal to 2.778. That's rounded to three decimal places. And remember our units for I kilogram meter squared. So if we go back up to the top, we can see this formula for I equals M R squared over two. We now have I, we were given R on the question. So we can now use this formula in order to find the mass. So let's do so. So I is equal to M R squared over two. And um, let's put our values in here. So we have 2.778 for I is equal to M times R squared. And if we remember that R is 18 centimeters, so it's 0.18 meters. So we put this in to our formula, 0.18 remember to square it, and that's all divided by two. So we can rearrange this to get M is equal to two times 2.778. We multiply both sides by two, and then we divide both sides by 0.18 squared to make M by itself there. So putting all of this into our calculator, we come out with the value of 171 0.481 kilograms. That's the answer to our question.